Good morning class. I am your teacher Maika in English 4. So, before we start the discussions, let's all stand up. Let's, I think, please, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we discuss all about the the elements of the short story. The element of the short story, there has five major elements. Setting, plot, conflict, characters, and theme. First element in the short story is setting. Setting is when and where story takes place. Usually includes place, time, weather conditions, mood, and atmosphere. Yes, Aileen. Yes, correct. Halim, tama yung sinabi mo. Halimbawa, kung tinanong ka kung nasaan ka man ngayon or nasa, saan ka pumunta nung isang araw. So, halimbawa, ang sinabi niya is nasa Manila ka nag, nagbabakasyon. The sequence of evidence in a short story has beginning, middle, and end. Short story usually usually have one plot so it can breed in one set, setting. There are five initial parts of, of plots. The first one the first one part of plot is expositions. Exposition is of course at the beginning of a short story. Character are, are introducing, we learn about the setting, we are introduced to the main conflict, our main problem. Dito sa plot, sa exposition, masasabi natin kung saan nagsisimula yung pangyayari at kung ano ang saka, o pwede mangyari sa kagitnaan ng story ng isang kwento. Rising action is, is is the part of the story begins to develop the conflict, a building of suspense of course. Ang rising action naman, ito yung palapit na sa tuktok ng story, ng story kung saan malalaman tong ano ba ang pwedeng mangyari at sino ang mga nandito. The third one of the part of the plot is climax. Climax is the turning point of the story. Usually the main characters come face to face with a conflict. The main character will change in the same way. Ang climax ito yung nasa tuktok na kung saan makikita na, na ang, mga, ang mga tauhan sa isang kwento. Falling actions. Falling actions all all loose end of the plot are tied up. The conflicts and climax are taken care of. Sinasabi naman dito ang falling actions ay makikita na natin kung paano masusolusyonan ang isang kwento or nangyari sa isang The last one of the part of the plot is resolutions. The story comes to a reasonable ending. Sinasabi nito na ito yung makikita natin yung rason kung, ba, kung paano naging ganda ng isang story ng isang kwento at paano man nalaman ng isang tauhan kung bakit gano'n nangyari. The short elements of the story, the expositions, rising action is the beginning of the story. And the climax is the middle of the story. The, the falling action and resolutions are the end of the story. <clears throat> Conflict is the opposition of force. It is any goal or problem that the main character is faced with. There are, there are usually, but not always, 
multiple conflicts but only one main one main one there are two types of conflict <laughs> external and internal external is a is a struggle with the force from the outside and and the internal is a struggle with within the character most make some decisions overcome pain this is a, a huge there are four kinds of conflict first one is human versus human human versus nature human versus society and the last one is human versus self the first one is human versus self versus human versus human leading character struggles against other humans against anyone for example is the example of human versus human is human versus supernatural being human versus machine human versus wizard animals versus animals criminal versus policeman and etc second one is human versus natures leading character struggles against natures against fate for example is the example of human versus nature is human versus tornado human versus earthquake human versus oceans human versus like wildness human versus sea monster and and etc the third one is human versus society human versus society is leading character a struggle against belief or costumes of other people the example of this is human versus gover government and yeah, ano, and young persons versus traditions, human versus church, at iba pa. And the last one is human versus self. Human versus self is leading character struggles with ideas of right, right or wrong, choices, physical limitations, at iba pa. Ang halimbawa naman ng human, human versus self is a small boys trying to make them learn. A girls learn to respect herself. Ang ibig sabihin nito sa human versus self is halimbawa, ikaw bilang babae, kaya mong respeto ng iyong sarili. At kung ikaw naman ay lala lalaki, kaya mo mag-specify ng iyong sarili at ang iyong na ang, at mga nakapalibot sa iyo. The next one of the part of the elements of the story is characters. Protagonist is the main character of the, the story or the hero. All major events have some importance to the character. Antagonist is whatever causes the conflict with the protagonist can also be nature, society, and iba pa. Theme is the author's main idea or moral, usually in what the main character learns about from li life from overcoming the conflict. Author may use figurative language to emphasize his or her theme. Simile, hyperbole, irony, metaphor, idiom, and symbolism. The example of the theme is some, some simple example of common themes is literature, TV, and film. Don't judge a book by its cover. Things, things are not always as they appear to be. People ha are afraid of change. Love is blind. Believe in yourself. So, class, that's all for our today. And we will meet tomorrow. I hope that may natutunan kayo sa ating discussion ngayon.